What's up guys, this is Pastor Canario again. Today is Thursday, April the 2nd. So it's about 10 p.m. right now. So we're doing this video again, another tutorial. It, this is just a, like a little project with the random numbers. I like random numbers. It's kind of cool. It's a cool way to do a lot of things. But um, so today, this is, I want to talk about this program that I did in the past. When I, I built it with if statements. So right here, you know, this is the menu. Like I did some shapes, as you can tell right here. Let me just do it bigger. Okay. We got the integer. We got the menu right here. Where it tells you what is going to happen like you know if you push number one we're going to we're going to ask for the user input like you know so what the program does is this so i draw shapes like you know a kitty also is like a bird as in spanish it's a bird a tree a house hello is from one to six. Uh, six, if they push six, it, it will tell you uh, just to create the, pro the, the program. And this is the choice that they will have. Enter your choice. It will be a store, their choice, yeah? Could be one, could be two, three or four, yeah? And according whatever the choice they have, if choice, let's pretend that they do one, they they choose one if one is equal to one it will print this this shape right here which for one is a kitty if they push two if choice is equal to two it's going to be a bear a also this one right here it is a three if the choice is equal to three it's going to be a uh, tree, 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 yeah. When it's a four, it's going to be a house. When it's a five, it's going to be a hello. I couldn't do it really well a hello right here. I couldn't come up in a way to do the O. And six is going to say the valid choices from one to four. I mean, it's to five. But anyway, run the program again. You know, it will tell you to run it again. So we execute this. So this is the menu right here. It's enter your choice. So if I do one, it's giving me the kitty. Let's do it again. If I do two, let's do a four. Is giving me a house, you know, whatever choice you do, whatever number that is right here from one to five or six, it will give you uh, what you asking for or what is telling you right here. That's what the program does. But this is using if statement, which is is really cool. I like that. But one, we're trying just to make this as a random numbers instead of the user entering the number. I just wanted just to automatically just just pick one and and just kind of you know from one to six run the number from one to six it will just pick any of this so let's make this to be a random a random number okay uh by the way when i was working building the shapes oh man it just take me a while to come up with the shapes it, it's very simple to do the shapes it just takes time to do it. You know, it's a house. I don't know how I came up with the house. The hello. I just couldn't do the O. But I just wanted just to prove a point how you can work with if statements. I just wanted to build this. I wanted to see how that worked. It worked it worked really well. Okay, cool. So let's make the program to be um, random 
like now we got to control it by entering a choice and I don't want that I want it just to execute and just give you a any random numbers between 1 to 6 so let's do that um, I already have another program open right here so right here this is where the let, let's let's do I don't want to go back and copy it uh, I mean and, and rewrite everything so the one thing that we need right here for the random numbers so we have all the header files right here all the libraries we got the I, I stream CSTD lib I don't know why I have a stream I don't need that but we have the C time so let's uh, start okay a lot bigger now so let's start right here with an assign seat which is going to is going to be equal to time zero an argument of zero and then the s ran is going to be a seed yeah that's all what we need for the random number to work we already talked in the previous tutorial about this so now what we need is the following like I said since I don't want to copy everything I mean uh, write, rewrite everything let's just copy all of this we have this copy all the way down I know I should just write up to there let's just do this a lot bigger okay <clears throat> okay we have it right there okay welcome to the menu for the shapes okay cool you know let's just change this to do also let's just put bear I think that's how you spell bear cool all right so we're going to change a few things right here to make it run random random number generator um so right here we're going to change this end it's going to be a random number random num okay cool and we don't need this we're not asking for any input so let's just get rid of that and let's copy this and paste it right here and the uh, if statements five you know in six we gotta change it let's do something about six it run numbers equals to six 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 we're going to say the following sorry you're not lucky sorry you are no lucky lucky today Okay, so that's what it's going to print out when the run number is equal to six. Cool. Um. Also, yeah, let's work with the random number right here. Random num equals to one plus run function modulus. So six, 
we'll print from one to six now so we have the random num what so i give me the hmm. oh yeah it's because i did it wrong right here okay I got it wrong everywhere else. Oh man. Gotta fix all of them now. Hmm. That should fix. That should fix it. Okay, nice, cool. So we got this ready. So now um let's let's give it a name uh, to this to this faces the little shapes that we have. So let's do a CL and let's say this is a kitty. Right? This is a kitty. Okay. So let's just copy this. And then just. This is a bear. This is a tree. This is a tree. As you can tell, this is a nice house that I built. This is a house. So I get this be consistent with that capital letter. And this is, this is a simple hello. Okay, so this is a problem that should work. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we have our random numbers going to go from one through six. Okay, let's print that and see. <clears throat> nice, this is a house. It gave us the run number number four. Cool. Let's run it again. Oh yeah, this is a bear. Bear, 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 bear. Another one. Oh, this is a simple hello. Cool. So the random number generator is working this is a tree cool this is a bird again tree yeah you know it it it's working good i like it so anyway so we made it to be a random generator shape there's a kitty so well hopefully you guys Kind of learn a little bit from this program that I built. I mean, it's not that hard. It's, it's kind of simple. You know, you can just do anything with random numbers. Whatever you wanna, you can build games. You you can you can get like a like a data from this, like you know, whatever. But anyway, so so have a nice night. Like the videos and and then uh, subscribe to the channel to so share it if you can all right guys thank you have a good night bye